and welcome Pipes Tobacco and Whiskey. So today we are doing a, uh, a tobacco that was suggested to us by one of our viewers um, and it's from Watch City Cigar and it's called Nor'easter. Um, kind of uh, describing their, their types of storms that they have up in the New England areas, a Nor'easter. So this uh, tobacco, I guess, is supposed to be reflective of that. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's very interesting. Um, so it is, a, they call it an American blend. It's an American English blend is what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got Black Cavendish, Burley, Latakia, Oriental Turkish, Perique, and Virginia. And it also has some cigar leaf in it as well. This one has uh, eight different tobaccos. Yeah included in it so uh, uh some black cavendishes uh, i think we may have said that too but um really interesting yeah very interesting yeah. blend so um you get this in bulk comes in crumble cake although ours was already pretty much ready rubbed broken up yeah, yeah so um you know that that part of it i was disappointed in because their crumble cake i ordered a couple others too and their crumble cake is very nice. Yes. Very nice pressed. Um, like I said, it comes in bulk. Um, this one broke down to about $4.49 an ounce. Um, its strength is medium. Uh, there is no flavoring added. Uh, taste is medium to full, depending on uh, who you uh, talk to. Mm -hmm. And so anyway, let's, let's go ahead and start talking about this one. Um, what do you think about the tin note on this one? So yeah, I was just, I want to say one thing. You said it was, con it's considered an English? An American English. An American English. That makes a lot of sense to me for this particular type of tobacco. Because all the other English blends that we've tried, you know, they're very Latakia forward. They're very pungent. And uh, this one wasn't as forward I would say it's not as, as uh, the flavors were not as much in my face they were very subtle uh, I get the lot of Kia of course but there's just a good brown sugar is a good way to it's say like it. I a get a cornucopia yeah of flavors yeah I get a good yeah. I get a good brown sugar smell to it slight bits of floralness from those Turkish, some of the, maybe it's uh, a kind of a, a plum raisin smell that I'm getting. Maybe a, yeah, kind of a fig, fig smell as well. Uh, I, I will say I don't smell the cigar leaf very much. It does not, now, having well, said that, we're, I smoke cigars, but not as often as I smoke a pipe. Yeah. And I will probably have two cigars a month. So I don't go around sniffing cigars very much. Yeah. So I'm not knowing what subtle hints or flavors to pick up when it comes to... You know, on this 10-note, Nathan, I get a lot of cocoa. I get the cocoa yes. and vanilla on this one. So that the black Cavendish is playing in this, mm -hmm. for sure. I get a little bit of the Latakia. It's not very It's not very strong in Latakia at all. Mm -mm. Um, it's got a little bit of a spice note to it. Uh, slightly a cigar smell, you know, not yeah. much, not much. Yeah, it's Swedish, not Swedish as in the yeah, yeah. meatballs. It's, it's neutral, guys. <laughs> it's it's sweet. It's got yeah. some sweet hints into it. So. I think it's playing very nicely because you do get the lot of Kias, which are very, very smoky, very pungent flavors, and then, but there's just enough of the sweet fruit like hints that just make it really sweet as well it's 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 as a tin note it was very appealing yeah, it's pretty cool it's pretty cool it's um it almost smells like an aromatic without being an aromatic yeah yeah that's a that, that's why i said american english that's very interesting way of putting things because a, a lot of american made tobaccos that classify themselves as american made tobacco uh they're all very more timid flavors you can tell that there's a little bit more done to the leaf the the tobacco leaf itself than just an all-natural 
we put it in the ground it grew we we let it dry out and we smoked it yeah you know and that's that's what i get from that is a lot of those english flavors but very subtle forms of it with great additives i i like it i like the tin nut a lot tin nut's great on it yeah uh it, it's very satisfying uh, you, it, it makes you want to pop it in your pipe and try it. Yes. And, and see how it's going to taste. Well, yeah, and that was that's kind of what Alan said us for us to do this episode today was we were looking through our list of stuff, and I sm- smelt this, and I went, I want to try this today. Let's do this. Yeah. All right, well, let's go to the f- uh, flavors, the taste. What do you think? Ooh, man. This one is a complex one to me. There's so much to get from it, and there's so much to taste in this smoke that I don't know if the smoke is changing or if it's because well this time I picked up this more than this or this time I picked up this more than this I can't pinpoint a solid flavor note aside from I can taste every ingredient yeah I, the, the, to me the Latakia is obvious but it's yeah. not no. overbearing no. at all um you know, the burlies come through on this to mm-hmm. me. I get a nice nutty uh, molasses, uh, yeah. earthy, woody. Very. Um, the, yeah, those lot of, I mean, those uh, burlies come through pretty nicely. Um, I get a little bit of a spice from the perique. Perique, yeah. And then and, and there's just the D- subtle fruit. Yeah, there's and then there's that subtle grassiness. From the Virginias in there too, just that little bit at the end that just kind of plays with your tongue. You know, I, I'm a big fan of Seattle Pipe Club, and Seattle Pipe Club has a blend called Mississippi River. I think we've done a, a, a review on it. Yes, I think we have. This reminds me a lot of Mississippi River without being as Virginia as Virginia as Red and, Virginia yeah, forward. Yeah, as Mississippi River is this. This has a lot of similarities to that blend. You know, there's a creaminess to it, yeah. which probably comes from the Black Cavendish. Mm-hmm. It's funny because you're tasting elements from every single leaf. When I first when I first saw that this had eight different tobaccos, and I, I thought went, it was oh, going to be crap. You know, yeah. I'm I'm going to really be confused, but I'm not. I, I see why all eight tobaccos are in here. Yes, they and all what play role, role it plays in the taste. That's that's profile. one thing that I was going to go with this one is this is a very complex blend that somehow they've managed to make each thing capable of standing out on its own. Something that they've been able to do to keep every bit of the flavor profiles that they were going for is in this tobacco. Yep, and. It's really interesting. It's a very... Because I get a little bit of a tang going on, and I don't know if that's from the Perique, or maybe if that's from the Orientals in here, or maybe did they put a Red Virginia in Mm -hmm. here to kind of get that vinegary sourness, you know? But I I taste a little bit of that in there as well. Um, You know, the, the... there's not, to me, there's not one tobacco that overpowers another. They all work in sync with each other. Yeah, it's, it's not a muddled, and that's, that's my thing. I saw the list of ingredients, and I was like, this is going to be a muddled mess. It smells great, but I don't think it's going to taste like it smells, and it, it does. You can, you, can, you can taste every ingredient just like you can smell every ingredient. Yeah, this is, this is really interesting. And it's really good. Um, I'm, you know, here we are at the end of July, mm-hmm. and I'm wondering, is this a July smoke? You know, I, I'm enjoying it right now. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think I could smoke this a lot in July, August, but man, when when October, November hits, this is going to be a hard one to beat. Yeah. Because you have a little bit of the sweetness that you like, almost, you know, uh, and then there's a little bit of the tanginess, there's a little bit of the smokiness, Mm -hmm. there's a little bit of the nuttiness, uh, there's a little bit of the spice from the Perique and a little of the dark fruit from the Perique. It just, like I said, a cornucopia 
of flavors. Yeah. It really works well together. Yeah, I like it a lot. You get a little bit of the citrus for grass from the Virginias. Mm -hmm. No one is over overpowering another. They all work together uh, pretty well. Very nice. Very nice. All right, well, so we obviously have said a lot about the taste. taste. What do you think about the room note? Mm. I would say it's pleasant. Uh, pleasant to a smoker. Pleasant to a smoker. Uh, because there's so many different nuances coming through where I could see somebody... Best way I can put it, I could see where somebody 20 yards away would be, what are they smoking? They get 10 yards closer, they go, what? what is that? And then they come in and they would go, oh, that's a some English that they're smoking. <laughs> and that's that's the best way I can put it. Yeah. Is it's probably different as it changes. I think you're right. I think you hit it on the on the head with the with cigar I mean uh, tobacco smokers will mm -hmm. enjoy this room note. Yeah. Um, there are hints of uh, of a cigar smell there. There are hints of a light spice in there. Um, there's a smokiness in there, mm -hmm. you know. Um, yeah, it's it's just got a little bit of everything in it. Um, I would consider it pleasant. I would some too. Would, would consider it tolerable. Uh, yeah, I, I could see where some people who aren't around it a lot would consider this a tolerable yeah. scent. They can manage, but what about moisture level? I think it needs a little drying out. I've you had think to have it's a, a little wet. I think I've had to have a couple relights, and uh, but I have those kind of issues with a lot of cakes. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, and you're probably right. It probably would serve well with about 10 to 15 minutes of dry time. Those cakes just seem to hold their moisture a little better, yeah. even whether they're crumble cake or not, and whether they're broken ready rub crumble cake or not. Yeah, you know, but it comes to us, you know. Uh, I think you could smoke it right right out of the bag as it comes, but uh, me personally, I would let this sit out for about 10, 15 minutes yeah. to dry. Just before I smoke it. Now we I didn't do that this time. We're no, smoking it straight out. No, of the and that's I would say I wouldn't some of my other tobaccos, I'll leave the whole tin out. Like I'll just dump it in a bowl and leave the whole tin out to dry out. Because I know that that tobacco is going to be moisture heavy or something. This one I would just pick out what I'm going to smoke and leave. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It could use about ten to fifteen minutes, uh but you could smoke it in the conditions that it's in. What do you think about the nicotine mm. uh, content? I would say it's about medium. Maybe, nah. I think it depends. I on think this one's. I think this one's more of a moderate, moderate to medium, kind of right there in the middle of the two. What were you saying? Well, I just think it depends on how your day has gone. How much have you smoked? Uh, mm -hmm. When are you smoking it? Um, what have you consumed food-wise before that? Have you, have you not? Yeah, you know, like right now we're here just before supper. I've smoked, ooh, maybe four bowls of, of tobacco today. Yeah. And to me, this right now is feeling about a medium. Uh, I've smoked this one before where it was a little lighter than that. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, th I think those conditions do make a difference, but... For the most part, it's moderate to medium. And yeah. It's not going to kick your tail. No, it's not going to beat you up. It's not going to be like a burly. Yeah. But it does have that stuff in there to make it push through. And I think the cigar leaf pushes it through a little more forward, a little more strong as well. Because sometimes those cigars, you know, you're not supposed to inhale, but sometimes you accidentally do. And I this think... Is, this is delicious. It's, it's, yeah, it's a very tasty... Yeah, this is good. Tasty smoke. I, I like that there's that much complexity into this. And I... You know, I, I'm, I'm about, oh, two-thirds through mine. and I'm about halfway. The flavor hasn't changed at all. No, it's consistent from the top to the bottom. It's... <laughs> we've said it before on some of our other tobaccos. I think, you know, Cross-Eyed Cricket was one of them. It's consistent in its changeability. You know, and this one is consistent in its complexity. You're going to get all the flavors, but at what point and what draw are you getting all those flavors? It's not, 
it's a muddled layer it, it but in a great think... way yeah in I... a great way where you you're gonna get this time i'm getting perique and a lot of kia with a little bit of burley and the next time it's oh i'm getting some perique some oriental and a little bit of that cavendish you know that's pretty good really you get you and get that... different tastes at different in, uh uh, draws? I would say one or more of the tobaccos together seem to stand out in one oh. draw versus the other one. That's interesting. But, I'm, it, but they're so closely related. I, I will say I get a lot of Kia through most every draw I get, but sometimes I'm really tasting that Cavendish. Sometimes I'm really tasting the good blend between this and that, and it could be because, you know... The packing method that I used, I think that's going to play a role into this uh, yeah, too. I think you're right. I on think that. absolutely. If you're if you're packing this by doing a circle rub, you're going to get a good compiled mess of all of that. But if you do a gravity fill, you know, shoot, some some ingredients are heavier than others, and they might fall far further. Yeah. And that's what I think is going on with my, this one. My flavors are pretty dang consistent right now. I've pretty much had a consistent taste all the way through so it could be the way i packed it but uh i do like the way it's going mm -hmm. you know there's no bite to this no it's none. not harsh there's no rough edges it burns a little slow i think it's because of the moisture mm -hmm. content you know um also might be what you're smoking in what are you smoking it i am smoking in a savinelli roma and the shape number is 316. Mm. Uh, it's it's kind of a, a large, walled, uh, yeah, shape, and a, the bowl is a pretty decent size. So it's a larger bowl. I think I think the the flavors have a have room a to kind more room of to yeah yeah. What do you got? I have just a uh, <laughs> a slightly modified Missouri Mirsham gentleman corn cob pipe. And uh, I think this bowl, this bowl's a pretty decent size when it comes to the amount I can put in lengthwise, but the diameter of my bowl is a little smaller. Yeah. I feel like maybe if I had a bigger bowl, the flavors would sit better as the draw goes down. Probably. But this one, because it's so, there's a lot in there, but they're cramped. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is a, it has, you know... It needs a, a few relights mm -hmm. because of the moisture content, uh, but I, I can deal with that. It's not it's not bad at all. It's no. got a great aftertaste. Yeah, it lingers. It lingers. It does linger, and it it's a very nice aftertaste. I love this crumble cake too. This crumble cake is awesome. I've I ordered two others from Watch City uh, that in crumble cake form, and it reminds me a lot of the Sutliff crumble cakes. Where they just are are packed together pretty good, but just a slight, yeah, a little bit of pressure, yeah, and they just fall apart. Slight rub and it just kind of breaks apart. It, it really is nice. That's that's pretty cool. All right, well, uh, what are you gonna get? Me? It's complex. I really do enjoy its complexity, but we don't really give quarter scores on this channel. And um, for me, it's not quite up there to being a full four and a half. But I would say it rests at a comfortable four. I would want to give it, I want to give it more. That's one thing I'm going to say. I want to give it higher than a four. But because we don't do quarter scores, I'm going to stick to a four. I wonder what your impression of this would be in November. Uh, and, you know, that's probably going to change it because this definitely seems like one of those colder weather, sit down with some mulled wine type of smokes where you get so much complexity in the flavors and there's sweet, there's there's a little tartness, and then there's that smoky, smoky, smokiness from the Burleys and the Latakias in there, and it just plays well on every flavor. And I feel like in a colder weather situation, yeah. it would play way better. I, I like this. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. um, it's going in my rotation. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, it's the type of English aromatic that I would want mm -hmm. because there's no aromatics in mm -hmm. it, you know. 
um, but you get a little bit of sweetness that, that gives it the kind of subtlety that, yeah. that, you, you, that an English aromatic might have. And there's so no toppings. I'm going to give this a solid four as well. Yeah. I strongly suggest uh, folks get out there and, and uh, try some of this. It's Watch City Cigar. Dot com. I was about to say, where are we? Where can we get some of their tobaccos? Watchcitycigar.com. Is that the only place you can get it? It's the only place you can get this stuff, and it's it's uh, they're pretty good about their service too. I ordered it, and I th- think maybe three or four days later, I had it. In my, at that that's house. that's pretty good considering. So they make all these there. This is made to order, kinda. Well, I don't know if they make it. It's their blend. Okay. It's their house blend. Uh, they have several. Uh, and when I say several dozens of house, their own house blends, and I'm sure they uh, they have somebody that uh, that makes it for them. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe they do make it in house. Maybe I don't know. You know, that would be a good question to uh, to uh, research. Yeah, and kind of find out. Yeah. So between the two of us, we got a solid four. A solid four Let's for Nor'easter. Four shots. Uh, for yeah, for Watch City Cigar Nor'easter. Uh, we've got a few more that we're going to sample uh, and give you our impressions of, uh, but this one has been really, really satisfying. Yeah. Uh, I've been very pleasantly surprised with this one. And you know, sometimes you find that with some of these. I mean, this isn't one that you can go on smoking pipes and purchase. Right. You've got to know about it. you got to know about them or somebody through the grapevine has well, to tell you. Well, if it wasn't for the person that suggested it to us, I wouldn't have known about yeah, it. Yeah, I wouldn't have known anything about Watch yeah. City Cigar. So thank you got, thank you uh, for sharing that with us. I wish I could remember who Yeah, we've sent got so many recommendations yeah. now. But uh, that this has been a really, really good. This is, yeah, this is a very pleasant smoke. And uh, once again, it comes back to just... Thank you guys for your comments. Thank you for replying to uh, our want to try and experience some of these smokes because this is a very good smoke for us that, you know, down here in Texas, they're all the way up in... In m- New England area. Somewhere. Yeah, New England area. Yeah. We would have never known they existed. And I think for you guys that are not living in the United States, I think they ship worldwide as well. Yeah, that's, so, that's an awesome deal. So you might you might check in on it and hit that website and mm-hmm. see what you find. Uh, they're pretty good. Yeah. All right. Well, you got anything else? Just continue to send us your comments. If you have a local tobacco shop now that you know makes a house blend that is selling it, has a website, and is selling it on the website, let us know about it. If you got something from them that they make there, or they you know have somebody else make or however just like this company let us know about it we want to try these tobaccos and we want to give good reviews for you guys so that we can share just a great moment to enjoy a pipe with everybody who wants to smoke a pipe so continue to send us your comments and if you like what you're seeing hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe thank you guys for watching we do really appreciate you uh, taking the time to watch our videos Mm -hmm. Uh, keep them coming Keep your comments coming, and don't forget, make all your piping moments count. We do appreciate you. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. See you guys.